The Dinosaur's Night Before Christmas by Jaden Castillo, four years old. Towards the night before Christmas, when all through the hall, not a creature was there. There was no sound at all. The fossils were standing, but they always stood, looking out or and now fast asleep neighborhood. And across the white street, a small boy tucked them tight, watched the museums and dinosaurs all oh, a good night. But just as the boy was beginning to doze, an unusual clatter and noises arose. Just a racket of creaking sounds filled the boy's head that he woke with a start and sat straight up in bed. Peering out through his window, he saw a clear as day that the dinosaur fossils were starting to sway. Back and forth, the bones shook. Under pins and understands, swinging necks, bending knees, and outstretching their hands. And believe it or not, it was certainly true that the dinosaurs' bodies were growing anew, spouting rainbows of coloring feathers and scales from the tops of the heads to the tips of the tails. So fantastic a scene! The boy had to see more. So he dashed down the stairs and right out the front door. And by luck, the boy found the museum unlocked. So he raced to the dinosaur floor. Then he stopped, for he suddenly thought, "Could a room full of beasts?" Who, for millions of years, had had nothing to eat, find a small, bite-sized boy so delicious a sight that they forgo a friendship for sheer appetite, and just then, from behind the boy came a loud hiss, as a large. Toothy mouth sees the boy with a kiss. A T-Rex who was wearing a reef on his head, eating handfuls of pterodactyl-shaped gingerbread in an ambush, had caught the small boy. Don't you know? Standing right below the dinosaur's mistletoe. With a pat on the back and a cup of eggnog, the boy helped the kind dinosaurs light the yule log, and together they joyfully danced round the fire, singing holiday songs and melodious choir. Then a band of young duckbills, all dressed up in holly, invited the boy. But a jester quite jolly, to stand up on their heads and reach way out far, and top the tall tree with a bright Christmas star. From a distance, the soft tinkling sound of sleigh bells echoed through the large hall. As a booming voice wailed, "Pronto!" And Maya and Steggy and Pecky on Tritops and Raptor on Rexy and Blacky and Cheers rang out as through the window appeared Santa Soros when a sleigh pulled by a dino deer handing out gift wrapped packages to every beast Santa Soros swooped. Down and then headed through east, but the boy, catching hold as the sled sailed by, hit the ride home with Santa soar through the night sky, landing safe in his bed on soft.
pillows of down. The boy waved as the Santa saw flew over town, and the Santa saw said as he sped out of sight, "There's a dinosaur ball every Christmas Eve night." Shining rays from the morning sun on Christmas Day made the nighttime festivities fade fast away. But folks at the museum all wanted to know why the T Rex was holding a sprig of mistletoe. Ah!